Hello, I'm Don Dawson. Today, we're going to talk about what you can do to prevent things from getting worse. Maybe even save a life when someone is injured. No safety program is perfect, not even one that includes personal protective equipment. No matter what we do, accidents can still happen. A sliver of metal embeds itself in a co-worker's eye. Someone in the warehouse falls victim to the summer heat. A friend at lunch starts choking on a sandwich. She can't breathe. These types of situations occur every day, and there are things you can do to help. In any work environment, there are hazards that need to be watched out for. For example, say something gets in your eye. You should try pulling the upper lid away from the eyeball. This should cause the particle to drift down to the lower lid. Then simply remove the intruder with a piece of sterile gauze or a clean handkerchief. An object that has embedded itself within the eye needs to be treated differently. Just touching it could dig it in deeper. Instead, calm the victim and gently place a paper cup over the injured eye. Wrap a bandage over both eyes. This will increase the likelihood of keeping the injured eye still. Remember, both eyes move as a team whenever you look at something. Then try and relax the victim until medical help arrives. If you haven't already guessed, in order to use many of the first aid techniques you will see today, you must know where to find the first aid kits in your work area. So if you don't know where they are, ask your supervisor. Let's look at some other common types of injuries. If you're working with sharp tools or materials and not paying attention or something goes wrong, you could end up with a nasty cut. First, you need to stop the bleeding with direct pressure.